In fact, they're so juicy, they shot all over my shorts, so I'll have to do, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do some laundry when I get home. Yeah. Hello everybody, we just got to our next Harvest Host and the Harvest Host we are staying is uh, called Saucony uh, Creek Brewery and it's pretty cool, it's right here in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. Nestled in the farmlands of Kutztown, Pennsylvania, Saucony Creek Brewing Company has prided themselves on a farm to table or in their words, a farm to pint philosophy. Named after the creek and water source running through the property, the brewing company grows their own ingredients for both their beer and their food on site and on two of the owner's farms in the Kutztown area. Boasting two locations, one in Kutztown where we stayed and another in Redding, Pennsylvania, Saucony Creek Brewery is one to check out in Eastern Pennsylvania. But I wanted to show you our site and then want to kind of give you a little bit of tip too if you decide to come here as a harvest host. As you pull in to the parking lot, it's to the far back right. Um, we did try these spots first, however, we quickly realize it's pretty unlevel. I'd say it's about three, three and a half inches side to side and about, it's pretty good slope for about six to eight inches. Um, so we chose to park over here near the cornfield. Seems to be a lot more level, really nice. Um, we could have pointed our chairs and our door towards the cornfields, but I think very dependent on what time of year it is, you know, it's pretty overgrown, so uh, we elected to put that on the slide side, especially I figured it is a brewery, people will be drinking going through the parking lot, uh, protect the slide where the dogs will be sleeping. So yeah, this is our, our setup now. It looks like someone else is here in their mini Winnie. Um, they took the time to level side to side, I did not, uh, but it was only about an, an inch and a half off the side to side, so. I decided to just get it rolling. So we got the wheel chocks in, we got the chairs out. Uh, we are running off of nothing but the battery right now. Um, it's a pretty cool day, it's like 75 degrees. We have the windows open, we have the fans rolling. Uh, so we chose not to hook up the generator. Uh, but we're very excited. Uh, and this will be nice. We'll definitely tie one on as they call it. We're gonna head in there enjoy and vibe um they'll give you a little feedback on the place but it seems really nice going inside everybody's real friendly it's very easy to book uh, we actually called them yesterday so we didn't give them a ton of notice uh, we tried a couple other places but they're booked up so um yeah today is september 11th it's a friday um so being a friday especially going into the weekend very lucky to get a spot but uh happy we will so yeah, like I said, we have, we have one set of neighbors. I think that's all we're gonna have for the night at this point, it's the afternoon. Uh, we'll see if any others come in. Um, but thus far, pretty nice. Uh, we'll check in in a few. In addition to the brewery, there is a restaurant and pub on site. Due to the nice weather, we chose to eat outside on the beautiful patio for the evening. While offering several varieties of beer on tap, I mean, look at that list. There are several non-beer options available at the pub, including ciders, seltzers, wines, and even kombucha from local vendors. After studying the menu, it was time to order. Now Frank went with a flight of four different beers. I opted for the raspberry basil margarita instead. But more importantly, let's talk about the food. We got the hot brined pickles, the Bloody Mary dry rub wings, the fresh cut fries, and finally Frank got the special, which were some tasty prime rib sliders. Overall, both the food and drinks were awesome and the service was great. Just a warning though, those Bloody Mary wings are hot. So make sure you grab a beer to have standing by. We were impressed by the outdoor patio. It can fit a good amount of people and even has a little playground for the kids. Also worth noting that they do have a kids menu here too. You can bring your dogs into the patio area as well. We just chose not to. They were happier taking a nap in the camper. With 
a wide variety of beers to go. Frank made his choice, Roxy's Heffenweizen Ale. Got an affordably priced four pack and we were headed back to the camper. Now, if you're wondering how we're camping at a brewery, allow us to explain. We're members of Harvest Host. Harvest Host is a service that allows you to camp within a network of small businesses, including wineries, breweries, museums, and even golf courses. You pay a yearly subscription, and then you get to camp at these businesses for free. All they ask is that you patronize the business during your stay. We love it because it's a great way to support small businesses while exploring the area with our RV. For more info on Harvest Host, there's a link in the description down below. One great thing about this Harvest Host location was how dog friendly it was, which is something that we really look for when choosing Harvest Host locations to stay at. As we said earlier, if you're eating on the patio, you can bring your dog with you, which is awesome. And in addition to that, the spot that we chose was close to a nice big field that was great for walking the dogs. Hey guys, just taking the dogs out. We just had dinner uh, here at Saucony Creek uh, Brewery. Saucony. Saucony. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, it was a really good time. We uh, we sat down. I did a nice flight. I had a pumpkin ale. Um, I had a delicious raspberry basil margarita. Yeah, it was pretty. It good. was amazing. Yeah, I, I had four different beers. I forget the exact types. One was an ale. It was a pumpkin ale, which was really good. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm, I'm chowing down on uh, some Hefenweizens. Yeah. Which I'll definitely include in there too, but really good. We had really good food. We had uh, Toria fries. We had these smoked wings, that mm -hmm. were fantastic. Oh, yeah. All the food is really, really good yeah. and really affordable and decently priced. Yeah. I think it was, I had sliders. They're like some <laughs> stepping on our feet. Um, they're like prime rib sliders, which were really good. Um, but it's really good experience. I mean, this is the first time Tori's been out actually to eat since yeah. the whole pandemic. That's great. Uh, it's my second time. I went to a diner when I was out with my buddies on motorcycles, but this is much better experience, obviously. And, much nicer. Uh, bought myself a nice four pack to bring back to the camper, which I enjoyed a little bit in the parking lot, which felt weird. I haven't drank in the parking lot since. But that's I was... a harvest house for you. Yeah, it's yeah. acceptable. If you join harvest house, it's acceptable to drink in the parking lot. Um, at your campsite. Camp at your site. campsite, yeah. Not like in the 7 Eleven parking lot. No. Or, As we are harvest host. Yeah, we're still gonna want you to Oh, maybe don't. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you're not supposed to drink yeah. in the parking lot, but I did. So, yeah, we're just letting the dogs out right now. We're enjoying ourselves. But, yeah, really nice outdoor patio. They had it in there. You can bring your dogs with you. Our dogs are pretty tuckered out, so we, yeah. keep, we kept them in the camper. Um, and kept the camera on to make sure they're safe. Yeah. Uh, they had a little kids area, a little play area, a little grass area. But yeah, everybody's really nice. Everybody's really friendly. Yeah. Takeout was really easy too after we mm -hmm. also done after we're done drinking. Sorry, D's pulling me forward. Yeah. But uh, yeah, overall, really nice harvest house. Probably, you know, we, we haven't been to a ton yet. We're still mm -hmm. we're still amateurs to it, but uh, so far we really like it. There's two yeah. two other people camping here at the site, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, two other campers I saw. Yeah. So one has a micro mini, mm -hmm. and another person has a van. Um, we have the Shadow Cruiser. We were very majestic and everybody has yeah. Shadow Cruisers. In fact, we never ever see another Shadow Cruiser. Yeah, if you have a Shadow Cruiser, let us know. I'd love to just find one other person with a Shadow Cruiser. Because, yeah. you know, eventually in the next year or two, we want to get a new camper. We're not 100% sure what we want to get. Yeah. In fact, when we drop off our camper for inspection next week, we're going to check some out. Yeah. Um, oh. I'm getting bit by like all of these mosquitoes. I'm sneeze. Good morning. We just finished our night here at Saucony Creek Brewery. Obviously we're just waking up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're ever in the Kutztown area or you're passing through and you're looking for Harvest Host to stay, I highly recommend this place. It's a great place to grab dinner, grab a couple drinks, or just stop in and grab some of their, their beers canned to take home with you. But yeah, overall, beautiful stay. Great way to wake up in the morning. Yeah. We have cornfields right behind us, uh, mm -hmm. sun rising right behind us. Uh, but we've been away all week. Yeah, so I think it's time to go home. So I think it's time to go home. Yeah. Till next time. Yeah. Yeah, I had the sliders. They were really good. They were special. They weren't a typical menu option. Um, I think they were prime rib or something along those lines, and they're they're excellent. They're really good. They're they're falling apart. In fact, they're so juicy they shot all over my shorts. So I have to do <laughs> <laughs> I have to do some laundry when I get home. Yeah. 
Next week, join us as we continue our tour of the different harvest hosts of Pennsylvania as we head to Workhorse Brewery in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. 